Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Doc Floyd Ezekiel Purdy, Jr. III. I am a member of Purdy, Purdy, Purdy and Associates. Now, you all could call me Floyd, or you all could call me Zeke, or you all could all call me Doc Purdy. I am the inventor and sole proprietor of the XPS 2000 Prostate Self-Examination System. If y'all is watching this here video, it probably means that you done bought one. Now, I ain't got no fancy degrees from Harvard, nor Yale, nor Princeton, but I am an accredited member of SAPS, the Society of American Prostate Self-Examination Systems. We will today show you the three steps necessary for proper utilization of your system. The three steps are first to make sure you have all the proper equipment in your container. Second, we'll do the self-exam. And finally, we're going to do some inspection of samples. Okay, we will start by looking at the contents of the bag here. Now you got your self-examination gloves. You got your sample accumulation plate. You have your self-alignment tool, also known as a mirror. You have your sample collection tool, also known as an ice cream scoop. Got yourself a little Vaseline, in case things get a little bit tight and sore down there. Got yourself a headlamp, because it can get dark down there in the nether regions. Got yourself a nice high resolution digital camera, in case you want to share your results with fellow self-examiners or your local urologist. And finally, you have the cleanup system. This happens to be wet ones. They're my personal favorites. Okay. If you don't have any of that in your bag, or you're missing any of them components, go talk to your distributor. I'm sure they can straighten it out for you. Next, we're going to get into the self-exam itself. So, we're going to start out. We're going to get our gloves on. Not bad. I think if they had spent a little bit of more money on these here gloves, they'd go on a little easier. They might, might could have. Okay, got our gloves. The two most important tools here are the alignment tool and the sample collection tool. The other thing you need here is a nice stout tree. Nice stout tree, nice stout rope. What you want to do Get your rope, get yourself tied up good and tight. Granny and that'll do. All right. Get yourself, get your tools back. Get yourself situated. Whoop, forgot the most important part. Gotta drop your drawers to do a good inspection. Okay, get yourself situated. All right, get a good look with your alignment tool. Get your your collection tool right in the proper spot. And here we go. One, two, three. Woo! 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 Okay. Now you want to transfer your sample to your inspection plate. I want you to come on in here and get a good look at this. We're going to bring the, uh, gonna pull up the drawers. We're going to start a little uh, inspection process here. All right. First, you want to look at your general color and consistency. Color is about what you expect. Consistency doesn't shake off the plate. Not too bad. All right. Give yourself a little wafting to get a little smell of the flavor there. 
a little bit of garlic, a little bit of onion, not too bad, not too bad. Now if you really can't decide whether you've got some trouble here or not, you got to do the final part of the inspection. Just grab yourself a... Oh. <laughs> ah. Um... Uh, yeah. That's about right. That's about what, you, what you're going to expect. That's about what you expect from a 50-year-old, maybe somebody like Tom Kandig. Okay. Finally, we're going to evaluate a couple of samples we've, we've previously collected. And once again, you can come on in for a good look. We've got five samples here going from my left to my right. Um, you're going from the best down to the worst. And finally, um, that would be your right to my left. I don't know, something like that. Okay, we start out with number one here, lower left. And this is just a very nice thing. This is a young feller. This could be a teenager or a college student. <clears throat> no problem at all. We got no, no leakage, no prostate problem. Next we move up to sample number two. This is just a beautiful thing. This is from a, a young lady. Now the ladies usually don't have any problem with the prostate. And it's just a flower. It's a, it's a beautiful flower. Now it might smell like some honeysuckle or some lilac or wisteria. But it, whatever it, it's very sweet, very nice. Next, we got again your your uh, your middle-aged man, you know, it's a little little bit messy, but not too bad. Color is about what you expect. Then we come over and we're starting getting in trouble here. What we got here is some real bilis looking stuff. That's right, bilis. I said bilis. B i l aus, bilis. Now this could be from somebody who's done a little a little too much drinking. He's getting a little leakage down from the liver. So you got to keep your eye on that. You see something like that, you got to start inspecting maybe once, twice, three times a month. And finally, we're going down to a real problem case here. We got your bilis color, consistency, and on top of that, we got some bleeding problems. Now that blood could be coming from the prostate, could be coming from the intestines, or some other part of the plumbing system. Not for sure. But when you get to this this point, it's probably time to go see a professional. So, with that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you appreciate our tour of the SPS 2000 Prostate Self-Examination System. And I am Dr. Floyd Ezekiel Purdy, Jr. III, wishing you a good day.